All right, y'all. It's Saturday again. It's another Saturday. Hold on, my podcast is still going. A young London broker who is the Garden Angelus. It's a good podcast. You should listen to it. Um, all right, it's another Saturday. It's a little bit later in the day because I have to drop my car off at the shop because I need new brakes. The original brakes to the car and I'm 150,000 miles. They're tired. Okay, them, them brakes are so tired. And my starter's being dumb. It doesn't want to start when the engine's warm. I don't know if y'all know what that is. First thing, I mean, first thing in the morning when the car's cold, engine's cold. Not cold temperature wise, but you know what hadn't been running. <laughs> Mr. Smith is building quail hutches. Oh, he's serious. He's serious. He's doing this thing. Okay, he's building quail hutches. Anyway, when my engine is not been running for many hours car starts up great if i drive to work or drive anywhere and the engine warms up real nice and warm and i make a stop somewhere like at kroger when i go to start my car again it doesn't want to it hesitates it's it's a soft start it's not a hard start it's a mm, that's not cool i don't know what that is if y'all know what that is let me know anyway the, mecha the mechanic has i told the mechanic mechanic has it anyway um, so we did that today. Um, so now I'm out here trying to clean up my mess and I'm noticing all the things that still aren't out of their pots and in a grow bag or in the ground. And it is m multiples of dozens of things. All my peppers, my peppers have been, my peppers have been sitting out here for about three weeks, maybe two and a half. I don't know. Time is weird. I I'm losing track of it obviously obviously I'm losing track of it so I want to get my peppers in the ground today I still haven't finished my herbs but I feel like my thinking is if I get the big stuff in like the peppers where they want to go because those are going to be bigger things then I can tuck in my herbs and I don't have to use all of my grow bags for herbs because I thought about using some of my grow bags for zucchini that way I could go ahead and plant the seeds and then cover it with a uh, row cover to keep that vine bore off of there pardon until it starts uh flowering so and i have like three grow bags left how did that happen out of 10 i guess yeah anyway it's a nice day birds are singing it is hot in the sun i did bring my little blue kimono thing because my arms are feeling like they're starting to burn a little bit but that wind feels oh wind feels amazing low humidity you know we have those storms come through but we have low humidity right now i am sweaty just a little bit because of the sun but if i go out there like in the live oaks in the shade it's so cool and breezy i know i think we're only supposed to get up to like 72 today so anyway it's nice all right then so today is uh i'm almost done with my cardboard so i just have that corner and then maybe another four feet this away i think i'm going to stop with the cardboard right before my bolted <laughs> george collards that i never ate any never ate any of them um and i'm leaving them for the bees right now yeah all of my bolted brassicas i'm leaving for right now because of the bees but anyway i'm going to finish up that corner with the cardboard and then I think we're going to go ahead and get peppers going. And there's a lot of weeding that needs to get done, like in the main beds where I'm not doing cardboard. There is a lot of weeding, but I figure as I'm planting peppers, then I just kind of pick the weeds around them as I go and just make it like a twofer. That's my thoughts on that. But it's got to get done and it's got to be today. Tomorrow's Sunday. I know. It makes me sad. I don't have enough days off. I need to retire, but I can't. No. Anyway, all right. Well, let me finish up with this cardboard and then I'll take you uh, over and we'll start on peppers. I got to make all my tags for my peppers. How about I do that too? <laughs> We're going to use our giant yellow tags for all of our peppers. It's going to be so bright in here just from taggage. Um, I'll come back to y'all when I'm ready to start with the peppers. The roots are getting really hot and getting really dry because these containers are so thin and they're not in a lot of soil. So it's a good thing I'm getting them planted now. Another little snake friend. He's green, so he's hard to see. It's a little 
grass snake. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen one this color. Not this green. That's pretty cool. He reminds me of the snake from a, a cartoon. Move, Pickles. Move. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, Pickles. <laughs> no, Pickles will kill it. Hi, baby. You're just a Swedish puppy. But you need to leave those snakes alone. They're our friends. You can eat spiders, though. All right, y'all. I had to go inside um, till the angle of the sun, or the sun just moved behind some trees and things because it was getting burnt. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I did go in the house <laughs> and I had you know food and wine while that happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and quickly, quickly, like fast, as if I was in a race, plant the rest of these peppers because I've only done what one two. Three, eight. I've only planted eight things in like five hours. <laughs> I think it's like four or five in the afternoon. Uh, just because things take time. Okay, things take time. So I'm gonna go through and plant and pull weeds while I'm planting, get everything kind of nice and neat and pretty, and then I think I'll come back and just give you a tour of the peppers when the peppers are done. I think that's probably all I have time for today. Um, Mr. Smith is still working on his quail hutches. Um, so today is just planting peppers. And then uh, tomorrow I'll get out here early, Sunday morning early. And we'll finish every single flipping thing that's still in a ding ding container from December, January, and February. I want them all in the ground this weekend. Like literally, I'm serious. This has to be, this has to happen. Okay. We're almost to April now and things are going to start getting hot and I just want to be done. I want everything done. So I just come out here with my wine and I water and I pull little weeds and I piddle and then I go inside. Just set it and forget it. And harvest, of course harvest, hopefully harvesting lots of things anyway. All right, let me get to planting. I'll show you what it looks like <laughs> when it's done. Might be tomorrow, but I'll show you. Okay, bye. <laughs> forgot, forgot. Um, also, while I'm planting peppers, I am going to interplant with my herbs and flowers. So I have some feverfew, and I have really moldy foxglove that could be dead. It could be dead. I'm going to plant it. Okay. I'm going to plant it kind of behind in the back of the peppers as a nice backdrop in between the peppers and the tomatoes that are on that panel. So kind of in that little, little strip right there. It's going to be pretty. I know. It's going to be nice. So, okay. All right. Now I'm getting to work. As I'm out here sweating, sweating in the March sun, um, this Pampas Plume Celosia. It's kind of the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Just, it's not coming across on camera how beautiful. It's like electric pink. Anyway, I'm gonna plant some of these too. Okay. Anyway, it's been hours been hours but I'm enjoying it I'm having a good time okay I'll be back you probably won't see this till tomorrow because I'm well I'm tired it's more the drinking and the gardening and yelling at pickles who's now chewing on something it's so pretty it has no scent no scent all right so this next bed I'm gonna do which you haven't seen anything I've done which is fine this way this next bed that I'm going to do down here. Yeah, that bed there. I have to take out my cabbages. Um, they're not doing anything. They're, some of them have bolted. I've never seen a bolted cabbage before. It's quite interesting. I'll show you. Um, hi, Pickles. Some heads I've let go moldy because I was waiting to film. Mm -hmm. That happens way too often, and I need to stop doing that, okay? I'm waiting to film, so I do nothing when I could be picking the food and enjoying it. Pickles keeps walking in my beds. I don't know why I keep growing cabbages. I grow hundreds of cabbages and I eat ne'er a one. Ne'er a frigging one. Okay, I need to stop doing that. But I do have probably maybe two heads I could harvest, but all the cabbages are coming out. 
hot peppers are going in. This bed is specifically for hot peppers. Like we've got Tabascos, we've got Ancho Poblanos, we've got Megatron Jalapenos, we've got um, Tunisian Bacalutis and Orange Habaneros and other things. Anyway, tab did I say Tabasco? I don't know. All right, so this cabbage I'm gonna pick that has a small head, that's ready. This I'll probably, might could leave it, we'll see. This one rotted and <laughs> waiting on me to pick it. That's terrible. This one is starting to mold. It's been, oh, it's moldy. It was ready. And now that's a uh, slime. Oh, I wish I hadn't have done that. Wish I hadn't have done that real bad. And this one's bolted. So this is a bolted cabbage. So if you ever wondered what a cabbage will do when it bolts to make flowers, there it is. But that's coming out. That's coming out. All these are coming out. This one is trying to make a head. No, it's nowhere close though. I'm gonna take it out. We're too hot now. We're just too hot. These purple ones are stunted and small. Stunted and small. This one had made a tiny bitty cabbage head. That's gone. This one's trying. It's trying. We're just not. We're just gonna take that out. Take that. There we go. The tiniest <laughs> red acre cabbage ever. <sighs> Alright, so it's the next day. I'm still working on peppers. Still working on planting peppers. It's not that I have that many, it's just it takes me so long to do anything. It's a nice morning. It's 59 degrees. Um, high. I think yesterday we got up to 76. I knew I felt really warm. It's really warm. I think today about the same, 74, 76. My goal today is to have everything out of these little ding dang containers, okay? Everything. Okay. I know. <sighs> it would make my life easier if I'd go ahead and harvest the rest of the lettuce and just have salad. Just have a freaking salad, Nicole. And that way I have my containers. Because some of these things can go in containers. Like uh, a pot, flower pots. <laughs> You're like, Nicole, you want to empty the containers. I'm going to empty them in bigger, more decorative containers. All right, guys. Well, let me get started back on these peppers. And uh, we'll see how far we get with trying not to make this video so long. But I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It's just who I am. Apparently, it's just who I am. I'm a long video creator. Let me show you what's in the holes. It's kind of fun, kind of fun. Okay, so this is, you know, this bed here that had my cabbages and things. I think last year I tried corn in here. But what I had done is I had covered it with uh, cardboard and some soil that was real barky and mulchy. And then I put a little bit of my million dollar soil up in here. Well, you can see all these white, that's Chloe, see all these white strings? That's a mycorrhizal fungi, and it's all throughout the hole. It's all on the walls. All of this bark is breaking down. Uh, the fungus is breaking it down. That white stuff is the fungus. So this is really good for your plants and for your plant roots because this fungus is going to feed your plants. So that's awesome sauce. Also, I keep chopping worms. There's so many worms in here. When I'm digging, I'm chopping them, and I'm feeling real bad about it. So... I'm conflicted about how fun this is. <laughs> so I'm about to plant my Tunisian Bakluti. And I have a pepper. Look, look, look. Tunisian bakluti. I know the plant's too small. But I already made a baby. So, I know. It's probably going to be stunted. I have some other... My other Tunisian bakluti has flowers, but no fruit yet. So, I'm going to pinch those off. Promises. Promises. Okay. Almost done with these. this bed.
Um, one thing that I want to pot up instead of planting out is my mahogany splendor hibiscus. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, this is going to be just an annual here, but it kind of mimics a Japanese maple. And I think because it's going to get fairly large, I don't think I want it inside the potage. But I was thinking about putting it around the windmill. Uh, all four, like in the four corners, and then maybe having sunflowers come out the middle. I mean, it sounds amazing to me. Could look like garbage, I don't know. But these need to get out of here, out of these cells, they're root bound. So, I thought I had four. I gave one away. Thank you, I gave, I think I gave one to Cece or somebody. All right, pallet feet pots. This will, uh, is not too big because I don't want to use a whole lot of my potty mix because I need it for other things. But this is big enough to hold them, let them grow a little bit, get a little bigger, a little bit stronger before I pot them around the windmill. So that's why I'm not going like in a in a bigger pot like this. I'm going smaller because um, hopefully this is only for another couple weeks. I need to pull weeds around the windmill. Hopefully I'm going to do that next week. I know, whatever. There's one. Aren't these gorgeous? They're gorgeous. Okay. Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus from uh, superseeds.com. Pine tree seeds. I know. They're so cute. Next. And this blue pot. Um, I'm going to pot up my lamb's ear. This lamb's ear is from seed. And the roots look good, right? Wow. And I only got two seedlings. I planted six. I only got two. But I still have some more seeds. It was a fun one to grow from seed. Anyway, roots look good. Really good. I'm just going to put them in this pot. These have been outside for a week or two along with everything else and they're doing really good. Okay, there's my lambs here. Pot it up. So in this blue pot, I have more lavender. This is a different kind of lavender and it looks bad, it looks rough. It's gotten a little waterlogged. This is the English Tall Vera. That looks sad. Anyway, I'm gonna pot it up in here. I don't really see a lot of root rot. They actually look pretty good. I think they just were too wet. All right, there's that. Okay, well, let me let me just do this part without you. This can take forever. Okay, that actually didn't take too long, but there it is. I know there's too many in there. I know that it's okay, but that's it's just gonna have to be what it is. Next, we're just we're just plugging right along. It's amazing. Um, next, I don't know what to do. I just ate lunch. I don't know if I can tell my energy is like, I could take a nap right now. Um, I think I'm going to finish up the rest of what I'm doing without doing a whole lot of talking, I think. Um, oh, pickles. It's chasing a fly or something. It's real into it. I just say I'm going to let you go and then I'm going to Yeah. This is my Cape Daisy Zulu Prince. Seeds were started January 12th. It's already, it's in cell tray. It's flowering because, you know, it wants to die. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. So, I'm going to plant all of these, plus another tray down there. I think mostly in the circle bed. It's going to be beautiful. And full.
I'm gonna have so many Cape Zulu daisies, Zulu Prince Cape daisies. I've planted five and I'm tired. And I need to end this video. It's Sunday evening and I'm tired. And I've been in this garden for days. And I think I just wanna get in the hot bath. Pour another glass of wine and just relax on the couch with my pajamas and edit all this. And um, so I'm gonna end it here. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna end it here. And um, I promise next video, I will show you what I did. Even if it's not done, I never even showed you the peppers, like which ones I planted. So it's gonna be a cliffhanger, okay? It's a cliffhanger until next episode. I did get them done though. Oh, no, I didn't. This is it for this video. It's very unfinished and I apologize, but I just can't anymore. And there's no sense me forcing myself because then I don't enjoy it anymore, right? Hair's all in my mouth, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm packing it up, packing it in. I've, ha I've had a good time, had a great time. Finally got most of the peppers in the ground, which is the main thing, so that's amazing. I may pick a couple of strawberries here before I go in because they are looking ripe. Cool. Anyway, I see about five of them. All right, I'm gonna pick those, take those in. We'll be back out here tomorrow. The garden is um, in a good position as far as being prepped <laughs> for things to happen. Like the circle bed is cleaned out. So now, you know, of weeds and, and dead stuff. Well, mostly, I see a couple dead things, but pardon. But when I come home in the evenings, I can do like five more cape daisies or something. So, oh, we're gonna go back to our one thing a day. Great opportunity, great segue into my hashtag one thing a day because it's time. And I'm gonna start planting these things because I do not wanna be doing this in the summer. I've said that 500 times. I don't wanna be doing that this, I wanna come out here and relax this summer and piddle and maintain, okay? I'm speaking it into existence. That's why I keep mentioning it. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen for me. I didn't get everything out of ponds this weekend. Loud trucks, the wind. All right, anyway, nature's telling me to call shut up. I'm stop talking now. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.